In this video we will see how OpenTree's cabinet integrates seamlessly with Autodesk's popular BIM application, Revit. More specifically, we'll focus on how cabinet manages sheets, how we can assign, create and export them, along with how we can send those sheets through the BS1192 workflow. Some of the key benefits cabinet offers are Cost reductions and the delivery of a BIM project BS1192 implementation by default Seamless delivery to the client We'll start by opening a Revit project from the Cabinet client. Cabinet will always ensure that only the approved version of Revit opens the file, avoiding the issue of inadvertent project file upgrades. Now that we've opened our project, we can see that we have an existing unnamed sheet defined. It is likely that this project was started outside of Cabinet and has been imported. Notice how its title block is not complete and only contains default information. For us to be able to correctly manage this sheet, we need to assign it to Cabinet. We can assign the sheet using the Assign Sheet add-in from the Cabinet toolbar in Revit. To do this we select our unassigned sheet from the list and click Assign. The next step will be to select the folder where we want to store the sheet. Following the wizard, select the intent for the sheet, in this case a 2D drawing for a concept building. The last step is to assign some keywords for the volume slash system and the level slash location, and also a description. Cabinet has now built as a standard file name and document number from the choices we made in the keywords up to this point. In the Revit project browser, you can see that the sheet's name has changed to match the Cabinet Assigned Sequential 1405, and it has also been appended with the description that was given in the keywords previously. And when we review the title block, you can see that it has been completed with all of the information. We have a project number, a date, who it was drawn by, the document's number, its status of S0, the revision of P0 1.01, and its purpose, work in progress. All of this has been completed automatically, removing the chance for typing errors, incorrect values, and adding to data assurance. When new sheets need to be created, use the Create Sheet add-in from the Cabinet toolbar to reap the full benefits of Cabinet. Clicking the tool will start the wizard, the first step being to choose where to store the new sheets, and which intent to use for the type of sheet we're creating. Selecting values for the mandatory keywords means that Cabinet can correctly generate the sheet's file name and the description will be used in the sheet name in Revit as we saw previously. In this instance we will create three sheets simultaneously. Their sequential numbers will increment automatically as they are created. Notice how the sheets are now being shown in the Revit project browser pane correctly numbered and suffixed with their description. And when we review the title block we can see that it has been completed with all of the relevant information. To be able to send sheets on their BS1192 workflow, they need to be exported from the Revit project to become entities in their own right in Cabinet Explorer. To achieve this, we we'll use the Export Sheets add-in from the Cabinet toolbar. The wizard gives us the option to decide which sheets we wish to export. In this demonstration, we will export all four of the recently created sheets. If we now switch from Revit back to the Cabinet client, we can see our exported sheets all at P0 1.01 and S0 work in progress. Cabinet is seamlessly maintaining the metadata between the sheets in Revit and its records for them in its client, again adding to the data assurance. Now that we have seen how Cabinet can assist inside of Revit, we'll utilise Cabinet's powerful workflow system from inside of the client to start our sheets lifecycle through the BS1192 workflow the first step of which is to send for checking. When processing the files, Workflow will open the DWG. It'll then update the title block information to change the purpose to for checking. It will save the DWG, create a PDF version of the sheet. It will then connect that PDF to the sheet as an attachment and save the pair of files in the cabinet store. In the client, the user will see that the stage has changed to S0 for checking. 
Workflow will email the nominated checker when the files are ready for progression through the workflow. The next stage is to review and send the files for approval. When processing the files, Cabinet Workflow will Open the native DWG sheet. Update the title block to change the purpose to for approval and also to insert the checker's initials. It will save the DWG. It will delete the previous PDF of the sheet and create a new updated PDF. It will now attach the new PDF to the sheet and save the pair of files into the store. It will also email the next person in the workflow, the approver. The approver will receive an email notification that they have files awaiting their attention. When they get to the files in the cabinet client they will see that the files are at a stage S0 for approval. To move the file along they would use workflow and review and approve. When processing the files, Cabinet Workflow will open the native DWG sheet, update the title block to change the purpose to approved. It will then save the DWG. It will delete the previous PDF of the sheet and create a new updated PDF. It will attach this PDF to the sheet file and save the pair of files back into the store. Back in the client you can see that the file stage is S0 approved. A typical next stage for the file would be to share for review and comment. When processing Cabinet Workflow will open the native DWG sheet, update the title block to change the purpose to review and comment, it will change the status to S3 and remove the minor revision. It will save the DWG delete the previous PDF of the sheet and create a new updated PDF. It will attach the two together and save the files into the client shared store. Optionally, at this point, Cabinet could also upload the sheet and PDF including metadata to the client's extranet CDE. Again, back in the client, when we browse to the shared location in the tree, we can see our file correctly listed as S3 and at version P01. An example transition from this stage would be to publish for construction record. When processing, Cabinet Workflow will open the shared DWG sheet, update the title block to change the purpose to construction record, it will update the status to CR and the revision to C01. It will then save the DWG, delete the previous PDF of the sheet, create a new updated PDF which it will attach to the sheet file and save the pair of files to the published store. Optionally at this point Cabinet could upload the sheet and PDF including metadata to the client's extranet CDE published store. When we revert back to the client we can find our newly published file available in the published folder of the tree. It's correctly listed as a CR construction record and its version is C01. Thanks for watching this video where we have shown how Cabinet can help to accelerate production with the WIP lifecycle of Revit Sheets in a BIM project for your clients.